So good morning you guys, it's going to be another lovely day today, fingers crossed, we've got blue skies and it seems like it's going to be quite hot today, hence why I'm wearing a dress which I'll show you guys in a little bit because it's a brand new dress that I got off ASOS and I absolutely love it. So today I'm going to be going to the post office with my sister, once again I've received so many wonderful orders from you guys, thank you so much. So I went to the post office with my sister last week, I think it was on Thursday and um, yeah I've accumulated a bunch of orders again. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing this morning. When I get back home I'm going to be doing some editing um, and just sorting out my previous vlog and also this vlog as well. Um, I tried not to make this vlog too long because some of you guys have said that you've been loving my really long um, vlogs recently and personally I really love long vlogs but I know there are some of you who prefer shorter videos um, and you have said that you do prefer shorter vlogs so I'm going to try and make this one quite short. Um, I have been very busy over the last couple of weeks um, especially this week as well but I haven't filmed every single day I've just probably filmed about two days um so far for this vlog um but what I've been doing this week um well it's currently Tuesday so for the last couple of days it's just restocking um so usually with my orders I'll pack them like maybe one day a week and I'll end up packing like 60 or 70 orders in one go in one day and it takes like 12 hours so I'm trying to pack them every other day so that it's a bit easier for me and then I can get them out you know a bit quicker to you guys um but I've also been meaning to restock so I've managed to restock pretty much everything in my store apart from the chew toys but I'm going to be working on that I think I've got it on my schedule for tomorrow or the day after I can't remember um but I just need to restock my chew toys because a lot of the stuff in my shop um it is handmade or they're things that need to be packaged so a lot of people don't realize how much effort goes into running a business behind the scenes they just think it's packing orders and sending them out but that's just like a small percentage of running a business most of it is prepping stock and ordering stock and things are constantly running out need to order new tissue paper new tape new this new that like honestly it's crazy and like my mind is always so busy um so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um the stuff that i've restocked um if i have time i'll do that before i go if not i'll show you guys once i get back from the post office because my sister's going to be here soon um there was something else i wanted to mention as well oh and on my etsy store a couple of days ago you guys would have seen um i think it was the first day i filmed for this vlog um i was editing the listings which i've been wanting to do for a few months now i added some more product pictures also made some individual listings so for example with my chew toys they were all listed under one listing like say all the different color variations for each one it was just one and then you have to click and pick the color variation so i spent the day basically making individual ones i think on my etsy store i have about over 50 items in total um so it might not look like a lot but when you like calculate all the different color variations it adds up to quite a bit um but there's only two two toys which i haven't done with the different color variations i just think i'll keep them like that um and i also launched my enamel pins acrylic pins and stickers i haven't really had that many people buy any which i i was expecting to be honest because it's not pet related i had one friend buy one <laughs> the other month um and then i've had maybe two other friends purchase and then one other customer purchased one i haven't sold any stickers yet but it's fine um i wasn't planning on selling out of them or anything like that i honestly wasn't really expecting anyone to buy them at all so they will be on my shop for a long while but i really like them so i don't mind and i hope you guys like them as well anyways i'm gonna <laughs> kind of stop rambling now um i'm gonna give you a really quick overview of all the parcels before i pack them into bags so here's all the lovely orders i have from you guys um and i've got an asos parcel here which I need to return because I ordered a bunch of summary bits and bobs and these are the ones that I'm going to be returning. Finally sold something on my vintage account. I think I set it up last month and I listed some of my clothes and stuff on there and just no one's bought anything but I finally sold something especially when I was like giving up hope. I sold my Harry Potter satchel bag. A lovely lady bought it so I'm going to be sending that off to her today. I absolutely love this bag. I kind of wanted to keep it but I've had it for a few years now. I haven't used it. I probably won't use it so I thought I would just I would just part with it and yeah I'm really happy I sold something on my vintage. Um, My vintage is linked in the description if you want to go ahead and um 
check that out. I went on ASOS and I ordered a couple of dresses and like summery bits and um, I absolutely love this one. It's got these little daisies on there. I love flowers. I don't have any dress like this and it's super girly and I've just paired that with some over the knee socks and my um, Chelsea boots by a brand called Shoe. I wear them with everything and then I've just got my same usual jewellery on which is my necklace from Anna Luisa and my bracelet which is also from Anna Luisa and I always forget my earrings. My earrings are from ASOS. So I got them in like a pack of three and um, they're really nice but this dress is so cute. These are the other pieces I've decided to keep. So this is just um, a really nice black top. Um, so if you guys saw my last vlog where I was wearing a white top um, like this, this is for the same purpose really. But this one is from Topshop and um, I love the frilly detail. So cute. So this is to wear under dresses um, but I think it will also be quite nice to wear with jeans. Then I have this dress. Oh my god it's absolutely beautiful on i filmed a clip the other day so i'll um insert that to show you guys because showing you like this just gives it no justice this fits so nice and the pattern is beautiful but the only thing is i paid like 30 pounds for this and the reviews were saying it's quite it feels quite cheap it doesn't feel cheap it feels like a nice material but um if you can see here when i was taking it off the button broke or the little bit for the button broke and there was some people in the comments saying that the button broke when they was trying it on and stuff um i would return this and reorder it um i would return this and reorder it but it's sold out in my size but i can easily stitch this um i know it's not really worth 30 pounds if it's broke like if it broke when I was trying to take it off but honestly it's just such a beautiful and flattering dress and you know when you just find something you love you just like mm, it's got a few imperfections but I'll keep it anyway um so that's that and then this is not a summer item but you guys know I love <laughs> my jumpers and stuff and I love like my knitwear so I got this I couldn't resist it you guys honestly my two my two favorite colors in a cream and this beautiful pink and it's striped I obviously couldn't leave this behind it was 28 pounds but it was on sale from I think like 50 something and yeah I, I love this this is going to be perfect for autumn um <laughs> and um yeah I really want to get a pair of knee high boots or over the knee boots because they will look super cute with this <laughs> so i'm back home now it's still quite early just wanted to go ahead and show you guys my cardigan so this is what my cardigan looks like on it's the only it's the only cardigan that looks all right with this dress because it's it's cut quite short but i really need to get myself like a really nice thin sort of summery cardigan um but yeah this one is quite nice to throw over but it's getting quite hot now um so because we went out quite early it wasn't it wasn't too bad but yeah i had a really nice trip in um in town uh managed to do post office send off my vintage parcel um my orders and what was the other thing i did um oh and sent off my asos return I also popped into um a couple of clove shops and we went into river island and i love river islands bags and i found this really cute bag and i said to my sister you could get that for me for my birthday because it's my birthday next month and it was only 30 something pounds honestly the cutest bag i have an obsession with handbags i just got rid of some and i'm buying more um but yeah i saw that bag and i just fell in love with it and i've been wanting a bag like that for a while one where you can have the straps long or you can have them like a bit um shorter um so yeah hopefully they still have that next month for my birthday and um yeah i'm just going to be at home for the rest of the day i might actually be naughty and order myself a starbucks iced coffee and a croissant because i'm really hungry i don't really know what to have for lunch and i haven't been able to have iced coffee in like a week because i've been waiting for my syrups to arrive because i use a chocolate syrup to make my mocha iced coffees um but i'm thinking of maybe just ordering one from starbucks it's very expensive um so yeah i might just treat myself to that for lunch and for the rest of the day i'm gonna have a somewhat chilled day i'm just gonna be doing some editing and stuff um because i've had quite a busy couple of weeks and um yeah but i really want to go ahead and show you guys the drawers because they are pretty much quite well stocked and um, they haven't been 
um, stocked for a little while. So starting off with this top drawer which has the most stuff in it. Um, so over here we have all of the food dishes. Finally I've restocked all the colours of the marble dishes. It's so nice to have them all again. Um, so we've just got the white one, the blue one, the pink one and the green one. I have the heart dishes so we've got them in pink, white and blue. Here I have my ceramic spoons. So we've got this carrot one, which is limited edition, and then we just got the regular bunny one. Here we just have some cage thermometers, which look like this, so as you can see, it's currently 28 degrees. It is quite warm today. These cage thermometers are wonderful for keeping an eye on the temperature within your, um, in your room or within your pet's enclosure. Here I have my own design of my strawberry milk. We've got um, enamel pins here, we've got more enamel pins and we've got my acrylic pins just here and my stickers just here. Back here we just have some of these um, pink pouches which I'm gonna pop um, these ones into. I haven't sold any of the stickers yet but I have sold I think um, one acrylic pin and I think maybe three of the enamel pins. This drawer is looking nice and full. It hasn't looked this full in in a very long time um so starting over here we have the trio of chews and um, we've got some whimsy's chews back here i've done a lot of baking can you tell so these are ot nibbles um these are coconut ot nibbles they smell so good and then here we just have um pour print cookies so these are the vanilla ones and over here we've got the beetroot ones um i've got some more in the kitchen which i decorated yesterday um i just need to package them up we've got some freeze dried chicken um a lot of people don't know whether you need to put these in the fridge or not but no, they don't need to go in the fridge they've been freeze dried so you can just store them in the drawer or wherever you keep the treats and then i did ask in one of my previous videos if i should have the dandelion root um, packaged like this or if I should keep them in the um, paper packaging. However I've decided to do them like this simply because it just matches the rest of my treats and let me get the box out from under my bed um, and also with these treats as well um, they all come packaged like this so we have the dried apple, um, we've got banana, we've also got pea flakes, um, here we've got flax sprays and then here we've got the four seed blend and um, so as you can see i've restocked these as well i just need to restock the pea flakes but it just kind of matches with the rest of my tree packaging this is how i used to package my dandelion dandelion roots um in the in the paper packaging like this which is quite nice but i just feel like it doesn't really match with the rest of the treats and stuff if that makes sense however the only thing that would still be packaged like this are my garlands because i always pack my garlands like this so that they don't get tangled up this drawer needs to be restocked and um hopefully the next time i show you an overview of the drawers i will have all of my chew toys in here which would be really nice and if you're wondering what is in the bottom drawer it's literally just um some of my supplies that i use to make my chew toys and stuff i've got some more under there um some more under here and then here i've just got like extra bits of tape and whatnot and other random little bits and bobs and then we just got some more packaging and then i just have like my labels and um all of that stuff and um, more packaging down there so yeah that's pretty much what this drawer looks like i'm really happy with it got some scissors and pens and all of that and uh and yeah i haven't had a chance to use my corner cutter yet but eventually i will get a chance to use this and i need to get some more tape because that's usually what goes in the back but i'm running out of tape again i go through tape so quickly because i get so many orders now and uh and yeah, that's basically this drawer. So I got another iced coffee because I have been craving iced coffee for ages. I usually make iced mochas at home. I tried the Starbucks one, but the one I make at home is a lot nicer. Um, and today I thought I would try a, is it pronounced as a macchiato? Macchiato? That's what this drink is. It's basically a vanilla milk with 
the coffee on top. And this is what I got inside. Bond roast, mocha sauce, white chocolate, mocha sauce, caramel syrup with no whipped cream, almond milk and white sugar. It is very sweet. But I'm going to mix it up. Um, the coffee mixed in with the milk should reduce the overly sweetness taste. And then I just got myself a croissant. It's a little bit mushed. <laughs> it doesn't really look like a croissant. Just a croissant with, um, with ham and cheese. I've had their five cheese toasty before but that was overly cheesy it was very very cheesy and it had cheese on top and everything it was too much um but i thought this would be quite nice to try um yeah it's literally just ham and cheese in a croissant so now that i've mixed it up it doesn't taste as sickly sweet um it is quite nice it tastes pretty similar to an iced mocha um so if you like them this is pretty similar but a bit sweeter and it's also cheaper as well um so in the future i think i'll get these over the white chocolate mochas to be honest with you the coffee is still very strong um i get the blonde roast so i think next time i will just try a different coffee in there so there's a very i don't know it's a very bitter aftertaste um and yeah so i'm just gonna enjoy my iced coffee my well-deserved iced coffee and my um ham and cheese croissant honestly starbucks is really expensive but it was just really craving an iced coffee this came up to like 10 pounds which is insane for literally just a drink and a croissant or was it 12 pounds i don't know but it was a ridiculous amount this croissant this ham and cheese croissant is amazing it might not look that appealing but honestly it's so good the ham is so nice and the cheese is really good so i'll definitely get this again absolutely love it so i thought i would just quickly talk to you guys while i unpack my bag last week when i saw my sister she was saying something about going to the to the beach or the seaside whatever you want to call it um she usually goes like once a year but i haven't been with my sister since i think probably 2000 and 17 maybe i think that was the last time i went to the seaside with them um so my sister said to me last week that she's going to be going um do you like my little pouch or my mask how cute is that so my sister was saying last week that she's thinking of going to the um to the seaside soon if i wanted to go with them and i was like yeah sure why not so it'll be my sister i think her boyfriend my niece and my nephew so that would be a great um day trip out and um as i was saying bye to my sister today um i think she said that they might be going on the weekend and i was like already so i might be going to the seaside on the weekend if i do then that will be a great vlog for you guys if i don't go at the weekend i will be going at some point but what am i supposed to wear to the seaside like what do you wear to the seaside <laughs> i don't i don't know i'll probably like throw on a dress or something i feel like this is a nice dress to wear but if there's going to be like sand and stuff if we're going to like a sandy beach this dress is going to have all sand in it i don't have any sandals and the thing is when you go to the beach like you don't really want to wear your nice sandals because they get ruined i don't i don't know i'm gonna have to go on asos do some last minute shopping and get some sandals luckily i have next day delivery and i'm actually waiting for an asos parcel today with a skirt like a long skirt i thought i would try that out because i don't i don't have any skirt so i thought it would be nice to um have a skirt and yeah so um i need to figure out a beach outfit i don't really do shorts i don't really do short skirts so it's gonna have to be a dress and some kind of sandals i don't even like sandals but i can't exactly wear socks or boots to the beach and i don't even know what bag i'm gonna bring yeah i need to like sort something out if we are gonna go over the weekend that is pretty much it for this vlog um for this vlog to be honest with you guys um i tried not to make it too long um i know like i said earlier i know some of you guys don't really like my longer vlogs but it's just that i like to sort of film as much as i can so you can get an idea of like what i'm doing in my day sort of thing and i usually tend to do like a weekly vlog or film over a couple of days so by the time i filmed i have like three hours worth of unedited footage so once i cut it down it ends up being about 30 minutes to an hour long if that makes sense so i know some of you prefer like 10 minute vlogs but i feel like how am i supposed to make a 10 minute vlog like exciting if that makes sense i feel like there isn't really anything like worth showing you just 10 minutes off of especially if it's like a studio vlog like this one um so i tried to just film some things and not too much so hopefully by the time i've edited this it should be like 20 minutes 
but it's probably going to be like 30 so love to hear feedback from you guys and just let me know if you prefer um long vlogs or if you prefer shorter vlogs personally i don't have an issue with long vlogs simply because if someone posts a vlog that's like an hour long i'm like yes um amazing especially if i like their video simply because i don't have to sit there and watch it all in one go um i can just watch like little bits here and there and just continue with it so i'll watch a video if i'm like washing up washing my face taking off my makeup tidying up i like to just pop a video on if that makes sense um so i I like the longer videos rather than like the five ten minute ones where you have to keep finding something else to watch if that makes sense but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video I have no idea what it's gonna be um but I will see you in my next video and yes so goodbye guys